every scientist, engineer, and general is trying to figure out a way to put a man on the moon or blow up Moscow, whichever one costs more. We have to explain to them how we can help them spend that money. Well, it certainly <laughs> would behoove us to find out. Campbell, you do the talking. Kinsey, you do the listening. <laughs> Let them know that we can help them bring these contracts home. Did you read anything that she prepared? Dawn, she's a woman. How important can it be what she writes? <laughs> Jelly Bean, where have you been? I've hardly seen you in this season. I suppose I can go to my parents' place in Rehoboth. They're concerned. About what? Nothing's happening. <laughs> because nothing is happening in your bed. What's wrong with it? It's someone else's child. Once you see a beautiful little baby, you'll fall in love. You know you will. I doubt that. <laughs> We're not related by blood, and you love me. <laughs> but that's romantic love, right? At least I assume so, I'm not sure if Pete is even capable of any feelings. But ideally, it's romantic love. My father had a stroke. She said he's up and around talking, but she wouldn't put him on the phone. Well, what a stroke of luck. He's still alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Sure. <laughs> Everything's perfect. He didn't say that. He said it's going to be, without even putting putting a date on it, when it's going to be that. What did the doctor say? It's just like last time. <laughs> what? <laughs> last time? This happened before? Oh, it happens every week. No big deal, honey. <laughs> Look at this. It's my lunch date. Mm. No baby, you're early. <laughs> what was that woman's deal? <laughs> a racist? She squeezed out some funny looks. We're going to Los Angeles together. Where? California, eh? Thank you, Pete. Come on, Campbell. Time to put something else in that mouth. <clears throat> May I suggest a pistol? Loaded. If you don't mind, I'd rather face Mississippi and those people screaming at me and maybe getting a shot after I go to California. Are you scared? <laughs> Don't pretend like it's not scary. <laughs> Too many black men or what? <laughs> Secretly, I think Judy hopes we're that childless couple people invite over. Hmm. Judy? We've tried. Oh, that must be disappointing. It's not my fault, brother. <laughs> Let me assure you. <laughs> the Jardinier. What? It used to be right there. The ceramic thing? I think we have that. Do I have to go around and write my name on all the things that I want? Bet. <laughs> Why wait? Just put it in your car. Nobody has what you have. You act like it's nothing. My daughter's a princess, you know that? Oh. Stroke number three incoming. <laughs> he has no people. You can't trust a person like that. Daddy. Fine, let's go eat. What kind of bullshit is that? They're dead. <laughs> All of them. It's come to my attention that you and Trudy are considering a child that's not your own. Is this true? It just came up. You... It just came up. <laughs> your husband spent everything you had. Spent it with strangers. All of it. What are you talking about? I'll messenger these to your office tomorrow. No, no, no. Let's talk about this. It just came up, huh? I guess Don is not allowed to sleep in the bed? Huh? So why did he even have to come? So he can sleep on the ground? What the fuck? Could have come here alone. It's her family, not his. And it's not like anyone died, so... You look beautiful. 
Thank you. Now that you've fed me, why don't we go upstairs? Holy shit. <laughs> So, let's just continue sitting here, awkwardly. <laughs> you two look good, considering. How are the children? Considering what? Considering Daddy's still alive, that perv? Yeah, we're keeping it together. Is he dying? Everyone is dying. Every second of every day. The minute you leave, you'll remember him exactly the way he used to be. <laughs> Not so sure about that. Since Daddy grabbed her titties. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. Done. What? I think you should leave. And I think I stay in my house. Nothing's changed. We were just pretending. Ugh. This is getting old. She's just a bitch for bitch's sake. Kind of enjoying to punish him, and that's all. Good afternoon, Mr. Draper. Hello, Donna. Allison. <laughs> that was the racist with the funny looks. I'm very touched by this party. That's the whole point. You're not going to be touched. Oh. <laughs> Let's hope when this baby comes that he likes luckies. Here's the little one. I just wanted to say happy birthday. <laughs> so fucking random. <laughs> Actually it reminds me of that airplane movie with Leslie Nielsen. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. I'm sure Joan here can hold down the fort. She's been doing it so far. I told you you'd be in good hands with Miss Holloway. You didn't have to. She was doing that job earlier, before your little bitch joined. You look like you didn't get any sleep last night. I did. Uh, he doesn't look like that at all. <laughs> if you include a line like that, at least make it look like it's true. Mm, I just want to say that I'm so happy for you. Oh, that you're going to be the best father. You had too much. And that I'm really happy for you. <laughs> it's just he and Mr. Campbell going. What? Don's going with Pete? He can't do that. <laughs> Mississippi's calling, dude. Hmm? <laughs> I want you to know I've thought about it. I'm going to stand there arm in arm with you and make a stand. It's not just about you and me. Hmm. <laughs> Now he pretends like it's his choice. <laughs> like he put his foot down and told them, No, I am not going to California. I will go with my girlfriend. Uh... Who is it? Maybe it's Dawn trying to scare her, so she allows him back in. <laughs> Oh, Fine. that weird dude. What are you doing? Nothing. Practicing his stalker skills for his future job as a serial killer, I guess. Can I use the bathroom? Do you want me to wash your clothes? <laughs> Do you want me to watch? Hmm? Perf. I'm not going home. <laughs> because I know I'm a problem for them. So what? You're moving in here now? <laughs> Well, there's a spot in Betty's bed that's not occupied. Can I tell you something? No. Of course. I don't like him. I don't like meat at all, actually. Oh. That's I'm why you. Do you want me to make you some macaroni and cheese? That's why you're going to kill humans? Because they're made out of flesh and you just hate it? I came to rescue you. 
Did you from this life, you mean? <laughs> I'm not joking. We can go anywhere. I have money. <laughs> Over here now. I was worried sick. Glenn, you have to go home. I hate you. Apologize right Oof. this minute. No, it's true. I hate you. You're going to be his first victim, Betty. 